waiting, as you may or may not, to find some guards to kill me. of the play are in the song in the lady versus lady scene when the food pyramid is brought out. Uh, I think the funniest part is all the witches scenes with their sassiness and just this great. The funniest part the witches. They're all sassy and they're um, I think the funniest the funniest part of the play is when Shira and well Arya Shira and Lockwood have to sing too. <laughs> Probably the scene with Lady McBuddha and uh, Lady Macbeth and... I think the part with Kit and Will doing their little... Well, young one, you bear a striking resemblance is probably one of my favorite parts in the play. Uh, the part when Lachlan's kind of whispering out to the crowd. Uh, in the love scene part. It's really, really, really funny. Does that make sense? Like, you guys especially. Like, maybe you have it looser. Just like, I don't know. Okay, you do what you need to do. So it's just an idea. Yeah, sure. Well, it's pretty great because Joel's just like one of the funniest and like hilarious people. And I worked with him last year on musical last year, and it's just like, it's so much fun. He just turns anything, like even just writing it, which isn't all that much fun, into like such a fun thing. And it's amazing working with Joel. On. I like his beard. Joel is great. That's obvious. I think. He's awesome. He's great. He makes everything fun. He he's really supportive and he's not super critical. <laughs> it's good. Uh, he's um, a really good uh, director and he knows what he's doing because he's had a lot of experience. They need the rest. They need, the thing is, they need the rest as much as anything else. So the, the little the little kinks of things, they just need rest, you know? Well, uh, actually, it's part of the reason I came back to IPS is because they didn't play again this year, and I didn't want to miss it because I was there last year. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, like the main reason. First, I was like, oh, I should go back. They're doing the play again. So I signed up, and Joel uh, hooked me up with the bankroll, which uh, at the time I didn't think was uh, like was that big of a deal in the play. But I think now it's uh, I really like it because it's like a medium-sized part in the play. I really, really fun last year, and I I've always been interested in acting, but last year I couldn't do it, and this year I knew that I had to make time for it. And it's been great. Uh, well, I watched the play they did a musical last year, and I thought it looked like a lot of fun. When Joel announced that he was going to do it again, I kind of wanted to see what it was like. And never been in something like it before. So. Well, I've always I've done musical theater and things like just on the side for quite a while, and I've just I always loved musicals. And then Joel was thinking about doing it last year and said who'd be interested, and I was like, well, yeah. As 
a group of students, uh, about eight students, sat around a table, like there's a table over there that's on the, uh, you don't have to show it, but there's a table that's in the play. We sat around that table and read Macbeth and tried to figure out how to make a play. And then we realized it was going to be really hard to do, so we started to bring our own lives into the world. And then, then portals started existing, and all the kids wrote all of the scenes and all of the plot. And I, and I was there kind of along for the ride. Yeah, it's fun, especially since we got to make our own lives. Like, we all get to encounter each other, and we made the whole thing up. It's really interesting to go through the process of creating and writing a play with a whole bunch of other people. Uh, well, for a couple of them, I would write them at home and then I would bring them to Joel. And for some of them, me and Joel would just write them. I would go and then we would just kind of jam for a while in the skylight and kind of stumble across them. Well, I'm pretty sure with that they are all like, oh, Well, I'm trying to, I have to try to be Rebecca playing him and uh, when I'm acting like Elliot, he has like, when he puts on the character of Lady Macbeth, it kind of acts like this crazy, deranged lady, which is our interpretation of what Lady Macbeth would have been like if she had made Macbeth do all these things. And the, the way we did it was really cool, Max. We, we would sit around, it was very chaotic, sometimes we'd talk and everybody would talk and then someone would say something like, wheat! And it would be in the context of something else. And I might say, oh, what can we do with wheat? And then they'd say, okay, well, here's what we can do with wheat. Because I just like the word, or I like to where it fit. And, and that's kind of how we, how we progressed. I've watched the play develop over the last two weeks, from just script to being acted out. And the best thing of all has been to watch how all the actors, all the students have really committed to it. And especially at the performance level, they're so committed to it. And they're bringing everything to it and taking it to the next level up on every performance and every rehearsal. And it's been a lot of fun. Where's my week? I'm done. It's hilarious, it's amazing, it's totally unique, and it's a lot of fun. It's super awesome and it's really fun. I would say that it's unlike anything anyone's ever seen. The thing to know about the play is it was a huge creation by a lot of people and they worked really hard. The best word to describe it would be adventurous. It's amazing. Yeah. And it's very funny. It's Everybody awesome. should come. Because it's it's so fun. Awesome. It's like, you guys are all together in this big cast. And it's we're all a big family. <laughs> and I just love the whole thing. It's just, it's really great. It's a really good version of the best. It started with a Shakespeare play that's generally boring and became something super fun and interesting and funny.